Welcome back to another edition of my short stretch here at the Ranch here. Smoke me a filter tube of doom. Plays the lucky strike, sort the world's problems out. After my coffee, getting ready for a shower. Mom's getting up, fed and dressed, and doing all the things, and so am I. And, of course, it's Sunday, bloody Sunday. And we all know how I feel about this day in history, because I am not a Sunday person. There's nothing on. Uh, I don't do church. Not against church, it's just not my thing. <coughs> and so usually I catch up on chores and do movies, right? Because Sunday. <coughs> my apologies, it's very damp and humid out here today, and it's hurting my lungs. But <coughs> we shall move on here. So, what are we going to talk about today? Well, for starters, you know, salty cracker. Uh, yeah, I know I click on it first thing when I wake up in the morning because, you know, you hear enough cocksuckers and fuck yous first thing in the morning. Yeah, it's a stone for your day, you know. Puts me in a good mood. It actually makes me laugh most of the time. Why? It's funny. <coughs> Damn it. I'm going to hawk this shit out today, I swear. <clears throat> anyway, allegedly there's something going on called Pampers Gate. At least that's what I'm naming it. We here at the Broken News Network, uh, we're like Ron Burgundy in combination with uh, Hunter S. Thompson here. See, uh, we bring our own I'm not wearing pants brand of journalism, you know, to the gonzo realm of the YouTube. Why? Because uh, that's just what I do. And uh, apparently Taylor Swift allegedly was wearing a, a diaper on stage. And, and apparently her fans are like, so obsessed they don't want to miss a second of the show that they would rather put on a diaper and piss and shit themselves rather than go use the filthy facilities at whatever concert venue they're at. Which, you know, I guess that's the difference between us and them, the proverbial us and them. I'm not real big on division or whatnot, but there is a divide between us and them, right? Because they're thinking of ways they can piss and shit themselves conveniently and... We're the kind of people that get liquored up and find a nice place to urinate publicly, right? You know, there's a difference, right? I don't see, you know, motorhead fans uh, pissing and shitting themselves, at least until they get so intoxicated they fall down, you know. Uh, I'm pretty sure Jim Morrison never wore a diaper on stage. In fact, his bodyguard had to fucking intentionally keep his pants on because the dude was spun off on enough hallucinogens. You know, that's ultimately what contributed to his death was uh, back in the Hayes Code era of decency, right? You know, and sex, drugs, and rock and roll, man, it's part of life. You know, especially for us freedom-minded individuals. Taylor Swift ain't about all that shit. And my theory is, you know, I don't know, maybe she's been slotting around the NFL, getting airtighted by all them uh, big black fellers in the locker room, you know? All them lefties are weird that way. And by the way, I'm not slut-shaming. Right? Uh, I've had plenty of group sex with lots of women. Uh, let's put it this way. Uh, I wouldn't not say to do it. I'd say wrap up and make sure you don't get any of them pregnant, right? Easier said than done. Oopsie fucksies. Right? But hey, you know, she was dating an NFL player. She saw that swinging pork in the locker room. You know, she got confused about it and she just decided, hey, I'm going to get airtighted. Maybe that's why she's wearing a diaper. Maybe they stretched her out. I don't fucking know. I don't really care either. Uh, her music sounds like an elk being raped to death in combination with a fart and a snare drum. And uh, I really don't give a fuck. In other news today, Danny Masterson, right? There's an update on him. Apparently, he has faked being crazy so they can put him in a lockdown safe unit to where he's not allowed to harm himself. Which is stupid because uh, the California prison system's apparently on lockdown anyway. And so, like, instead of waiting until, you know, everybody's allowed out of their cage again, you know, and they have free access to the yard, he did it now. So I hope his acting skills are pretty good for his sake because, uh, you know, the gay boy gangsters have already chosen a hitman. And they've already said that no matter if he gets killed or not, he's probably going to get raped a few times. And from the charges a lot of these people are in there for, I don't think they care if he's alive or dead when they're raping him, you know? Like I said, I'm not one to judge here. 
<clears throat> you know, you fuck up badly enough and you got 30 time to spend with these animals, you know, you're going to find out what Tinkerbell queer is. You know, they might be wearing a purse in high heels in their spare time. They might have a top or a bottom surgery, but most of them probably throw down like an MMA fighter. Like, that's one thing he's going to figure out is that, you know, these people are going to give him a black guy in a wedding ring. <clears throat> and I don't feel any kind of bad for him. You know, and keep in mind, the gay boy gangsters, they're fucking, they're lower on the status pole here than a lot of your Hispanic, black, and fucking white gangs, okay? Like, they were outcast from their own crews because they're openly queer, right? Which, like I said, I don't give a fuck if you're gay, straight, or kinky. It's no never mind to me. As long as, you know, no kids, old folks, or animals, you know, innocent people, none of that, like, just... Stay out the fucking, stay out the forcible market that way, you know, knock yourselves out, be, you know, behave like degenerates, but like, let's, let's look at it this way. Let's say they do find him insane. They're going to move him to one of those psych wards, which is probably worse than a prison yard, right? You're going to be around a bunch of dribbling mongoloids that are constantly beating their meat, medicated on God knows what psych meds, and then you're going to be around all the crazy, criminally insane people that are in there for, like, some really fucked up shit. And they're going to see somebody who looks like a big old fuzzy teddy bear, and they're going to decide, hey, this is the closest thing I'm going to get to pussy for the next hundred thousand years while I'm in here. I'm going to invade him, right? I'm going to pack him like a suitcase. And like I said, you know, it, it, this is not going to work out well for him. And in as light as they sent the sex offenders nowadays, keep in mind, sex crimes are the least prosecuted crimes there are. And usually most people, especially of means, get off pretty easy. So for him to get a sentence of like 20 or 30 years, he must have fucked up pretty bad. And not only that, his crimes must have been pretty fucking egregious. So, like... The system's already rigged against us normal people, and it's for the pervert. And these perverts get off easy. Well, he didn't get off easy because he's apparently been doing this for some time now. <coughs> so, it is what it is. I don't see this ending well. I think he's probably going to have to teach his butthole to grow teeth and how to fight. So, as always, this has been another Broken News edition of the Sunday Shorts, and uh, I'm going inside. It's cold. <laughs>